President of Terena, distinguished audience, it's uh, pleasing to see how uh, big gathering this is, that nothing less than our biggest cinema hall is uh, big enough to take on this event. Regarding my education, I normally like to add that despite a degree in ge geology and pedagogy, I, I am also a former truck driver and a farmer's son and a fisherman which has turned out to be uh, nonetheless valuable than university education in my present uh, and past jobs. Um, obviously, uh, international, Nordic, European and international cooperation in this uh, important uh, field is, is vital. Uh, and I like also to thank all the organizers of, of this on our behalf, the, the University of Iceland and others that have, have supported this. Uh, but for a country like Iceland, and I hope you forgive me to have my comments probably more general about the importance of, of internet uh, connections for a, a country like ours than to only focus on research and education, although that, that of course is the main topic here. But uh, you can actually say that the whole history of Iceland uh, has uh, been marked by communication, or rather the lack of it, in, uh, in, in long periods. Uh, and for the modern day Iceland, of course, internet connections and I should add a good communication in general, including our aviation or air links, is absolutely essential. It would not be possible for a modern society to function, exist, uh, not to mention businesses to, to uh, thrive if it were not for uh, the possibilities that good internet connections uh, um, make us um, in position to, to utilize. Uh, and this is pretty obvious. I mean, we would not, being a, a rock out in the middle of the North Atlantic, do much if it were not for the possibilities to participate in all fields where we are using the internet, uh, given our, our location. Uh, there, were, there was, was an of uh, timber in Norway uh, in the Viking era for those to build ships and sail west and find Iceland and even Greenland and North America for that matter. But the small scrubs here were not sufficient to maintain that communication. So it became increasingly difficult for Iceland to secure its connections with the outside world. And that really became the end of the old republic in Iceland from 19... Uh, 30 to 1262, but at the end of the day, uh, also given some internal fights and struggles, uh, they had to bow for the Norwegian king, and part of the agreement was that he would secure communication to Iceland, that ships, at least four each year, would sail out to provide Iceland with connect contacts with the outside world. Today, this is done in differently. We don't have to go to a European king to ask for secure communications. Now the internet provides for that, and also our extensive uh, air communication, and of course the sea is still there. Uh, Iceland, of course, has realized this. We have tried to invest in both the cables and connections, which are, of course, essential for us, being an island and also in the, in the necessary infrastructure and inventor within Iceland. Obviously, we are also very uh, focused on the possibility to provide this indus these industries with green renewable energy. That is at least one thing we have to offer. So the idea about making Iceland uh, a, a strong hold in data industries, data centers, uh, is still very valid, and we believe it will come true, and actually there is a move on that already. Now, given the economical struggles we have been going through, we, of course, had to scale down our uh, activities in this field, as in many others, but we have already uh, begun to upgrade those again, and, for instance, I can mention that uh, last Friday, when we announced a new investment or an additional investment plan for Iceland, uh, for the next three years, uh, the uh, internet uh, industry, the 
the information Iceland or net Iceland uh, is a part of that with some contribution of 200 million ISK per year for the next three years. Uh, with this and many other activities, we hope to uh, upscale uh, investments, uh, support research and education in this field, and also invest in the, in the necessary infrastructure. This we do because we obviously see that it is absolutely essential for us to be able to uh, follow the developments and participate actively uh, uh, on all fields in, in this area. Now, for our, of course, uh, uh, universities and educational centers, all research and development work in Iceland is, of course, it goes without saying that, that is, this is absolutely necessary. But uh, we sh it's also interesting to focus on the broader aspects of this and uh, value the possibilities uh, that this technology uh, provides for in many other important fields of society. Uh, for a, a country like Iceland, with a scarce population of 320,000 people, which, by, uh, by the way, we expect to pass that uh, huge <laughs> number any week now, uh, for the first time in our history, uh, given the fact that these 320,000 people are uh, scattered over 104,000 square kilometers of a land that is not always easy to cross in some areas, uh, you can imagine the, the, the miracles that this can uh, provide, uh, given that we can actively involve and connect all our citizens to the net and to the information society therewith. In terms of uh, governance, and uh, public services. The internet, of course, provides for a lot, not to mention in a country, especially like ours, where we can bring services closer to people. We can bring, uh, open up and bring uh, government and decision-making to people in a totally new way. So there are very important parts that relate to uh, how the modern society functions, how we can act actively involve our citizens make them part of, of things that were more difficult to do before, such as decision-making through direct democracy uh, or uh, attracting uh, views in decision-making processes, which many both local and, and central uh, authorities are, are uh, um, trying to develop. develop. Uh, as I said, we may have had to slow this down a little bit due to our financial troubles uh, in the recession, but fortunately we are mo moving out of that again. We are seeing growth back and, and unemployment on a downward path. Uh, and I can promise you on behalf of, of the present government, and I think that would apply for any, any kind of government in Iceland, that we intend to involve this sector and support uh, this sector very strongly in the years to come. Uh, simply because we understand and realize the importance of, of doing so. So, given that I'm, I'm but not but anything but a truck driver and you are the experts in the field, I will not take up more of your time. I think it's better used for you to have an interesting uh, dialogue and, and exchange of, of views on this important topic. Uh, and uh, I wish you all the best, I wish you a successful conference and a good stay in Iceland, and hopefully you take a little bit of Iceland back with you in your heart when you leave. Thank you.